Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and welcome back to the Electro Sports Baseball League in Super Mega Baseball 3. Uh, we're in the last week of the season and uh, we've just got one game to play, as you would possibly anticipate from it being the last week of the season. Uh, we're in decent place right now, decent position. Uh, the the Steganauts and Beekeepers can't be keep alls. Whatever, they can potentially knock us down. They won't because we've got a uh, plus 45 run difference going on. So, uh, so that's unlikely to happen. Uh, but we still want to get a good performance in anyway as we take on the Sunshine Fun Bus, whose season is effectively over. Uh, so uh, let's do it. Uh, right, Chet's up in the rotation. Steve Morrie is unhappy. All right, okay, I'm going to have to bring in Gormless Hardware to take his place. Uh, Crampons is not in the best of spirits either. Uh, okay, all right, Crampo, you have a sit down. Let's bring in Ferrite. Uh, and then Chet is, uh, he's, he's got the flashing lozenge of a man who's almost poorly. Uh, so, uh, so we'll swap him out for Vivian Crumble. Um, and, uh, and hopefully that'll be enough to, uh, to get us rock and rolling. Well, we're coming to you from Lafayette Corner, which is the home field, uh, for the Sunshine Fun Bus. Uh, lots of warm tones. In the audience, yeah, yeah, yeah well, I mean, there's uh, some lovely warm tones, but that means we're up to bat first, and uh, and it's Zoltan, who will be hoping to play just a little bit better than he did last week, uh, but you never know. He has a he had a pop at the uh, at the very first uh, pitch there and and got nothing from it. Nope, that one was a ball. The ball is moving in a mysterious way. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, hopefully we can we can shake that out of there. Perhaps. It is the nature of this stadium that makes the ball move in a mysterious way. Uh, maybe it has gravity-based issues. Either way, we'll get used to it. Uh, no. That's ball two. Strike two now. Zoltan soaking up a few pitches. He's had a slop at that one, and uh, he hasn't got very far. There's Sonny Watt. Look, he used to play for us. I know. There's lots of former baseball players of the bulldozer power on various teams. And that's by design, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, Papal's gone for the first pitch and uh, and has done pretty well out of it. He's feeling so confident he's going to go for two bases instead of one. And he does it. That wasn't Papal. No. I did, did you see who just got the ball? Yeah. It was Bam Bam flipping puck eye. Oh, no. She plays for the enema. She does play for the enema. Um, anyway, here's uh, Papal Event Horizon now. Furious was the, uh, uh, was the batter who just did quite well for himself. Uh, still having a little bit of trouble with the timing of these pitches, you know. Uh, but that's gone well. We're going for it all. Let's get off the uh, off the off the mark quickly, and that's a run batted in. Kojak Mister on uh, up next, and uh, we'll we'll see what she's got to say for herself today. She didn't have a lot to say for herself last week, that was for sure. Um, no, she was uh, anything but talkative in a batting sense. Um, but uh, you never know. Maybe today's her day. Maybe it isn't. Well, she's she's gone for a slap at a uh, at a higher one there, which is not advisable, and she's out. Uh, still, you know, we've got a run. That's good. Uh, runner on first. Here's failure. Who we're hoping. Now, why, 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 why though? Why, why would you do that? Ethan Hogwash grabs the uh, grabs the ball, and then that's the, that's the side to side. Here's Cason Reeves, who's not one of mine. No, he's batting 7-14 this season. That's a lot. Yeah, it is. I don't think he's played much. I mean, if the team has got a 9-9 nine nine record, or which they do, uh, then I suggest that uh, that Jon de Quezon here has not really factored in all that greatly. He's had two runs batted in. Yeah, he's not really done very much at all. Okay, all right, fine. Uh, Vivian Crumble, they're delivering the kind of pitch... Uh, that sets up the player for an easy catch, and uh, Spongy gets that one. Here's Bam Bam Puckai, new team, and uh, well, she's—I mean, she's not had the kind of prolific scoring that she had when she played for us. Uh, but uh, you know, that's inevitable, really, because you know we're the we're the best team in the world, apart from you know when we pitch like that. And uh, you know, to be honest, our record suggests we're not actually not the best pitch in the world. Let alone the world. We're not even the best team in the league. And there we go. Vivian strikes out Bam Bam. And uh, that's a uh, 
Well, that's, that's something in the pocket there for, uh, for the new order of things. And uh, here's Barry Science. Uh, let's see if we can get him to strike and some, uh, to, to, to have a fling at some rubbish. Uh, you never know. You know, maybe we can. That one's got a bit high. Try, try this one. Try a sinker. There you go. That's good. But it's, it's not actually, is it? No, it's not. No, it was. It was all right. Anyway, two outs, and uh, and that's going to bring up Ethan Hogwash, and we'll we'll see if he's uh, if he's feeling good about himself. Uh, one of the Hogwash brothers, of course, Trip. Uh, playing for uh, for the Nomads, who we saw last time around, and uh, there we go. Let's let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. No, he didn't fall for that at all. Well, to be honest, my pitch was so far off the uh, uh, off the pace there. No, no, nothing doing on that one. They're going for third. They're going to get it. Come on, Brenda. A little bit more whippy with the arm cannon there would be good. Here's Quash Gardner, the uh, the centre fielder. Again, he's he's not one who's who's one of mine. I didn't I didn't come up with this. Go on, and that's safe. No, it's just oh dear. So they've got runners on second and third now. Uh, we've got two outs. We should be uh, we should be trying to get this one out. Right, Vivian, no pressure. Uh, if you do this, we maintain our lead. All right, that's good enough. Cindy to first, side retired, and Bulldozer Power maintain a one to nothing lead going into the second inning. Here's Cindy Vapid, batting 400 this series, season, series. It's not a series though, is it? Season. I mean, it is a series, but it's also you know people use series to say other things in the uh, uh, in the baseballing sense. They do. It's true. Anyway, Cindy's out. That's all right. We'd, we'd largely keep her on the team. Uh, for her fielding prowess and the fact that she actually bats quite well, uh, but her fielding is has, has been pretty exceptional this season. Bam Bam with a nice dive, and that's out number two. Hardware unable to do anything useful, but that's to be expected. Here's Brenda Ferrite, uh, who's come in for uh, uh, for Bernie Crampons, who's uh, who's less than cramping or something. No, no, whatever, whatever, whatever we expect from Bernie, he's not doing it. Hasn't done it for some time, in fact. Uh, the Bernie Crampons mystery home run. Not seen one of those in a long time. Anyway, that's, uh, that's ball three. Strike one. Should let this go, really. See? Judged that uh, very nicely. And, uh, and Brenda gets a walk. Here's Vivian. Uh, I'm going to let her stay in. Uh, I don't think we're going to make much off this. But, uh... <laughs> just, just, oh, dearie me. Uh, right. Plays a little bit of hit and catch there with the pitcher. And uh, she's gone. Right, I'll bring up Tipsy Jack, who's the third baseman. He's uh, he's doing a solid 220 this year. Um, which is, I mean, it's not that solid, I'll be honest. Papal, 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 papal. He wants it. He's calling for it. He has it. All right, good. It's Sonny Watts uh, batting a solid 208 this season. I mean, I can say things things are solid, but evidently they're not. 208 is is not good enough for anybody, really. Strike one, nice pitch uh, there from Viv. And, uh, well, she's, she's thrown two balls, though. It's, we try to avoid throwing those as much as possible, uh, unless, of course, we think we can uh, we can sucker them into swinging at it. That's a big hit. Popel's there. And has got it. Good. Two done. Here's Cherry Margarita. And uh, she's batting a solid 200 this is All of a sudden, I think it, it becomes quite evident why this team are only 9-9 nine and nine, uh, rather than a slightly more impressive score. 9-9 uh, nine and nine's not bad. Um, in fact, it should be more than 9-9. Nine and nine. This, is, this is game 20. So they should be like 9-10. and 10. This should be their, their final outing for the year. I'll allow it. Um, they'll, they'll be what they are, I suppose. If they've got another game to play, then they... they just better jolly well play it, I suppose. Um, right, anyway, two strikes is the count. Cindy has the ball. Can she get the throw? Yes, she can. Out number three, and uh, the, the fun bus uh, can uh, can toddle on off into the sunset there. Uh, here's Zoltan for his second go of the day. Uh, he's 0 for 1. And it, it, I mean, he'll be 0 for several before too long, but he's had a, he's had a slop at that one. Really, we're slopping today, are we? Yeah, I suppose we are, really. Uh, and that one, nothing doing. Hogwash will have it and, uh, and beat him to first. And that's, uh, that's Zoltan going to where he feels most comfortable. Uh, here's Furious Sponge Bath. 
Uh, got that very nice double from his first at bat. Yeah, very nice. Uh, but uh, but he'll hang on in here for as long as he needs to hang on in here in order to hang on in here and get a get a hit. I mean, as long as he hits the ball, I'm not even that fussed if they get out. That's nice, though. That is nice. That one's gone. Well, Furious is off to a heck of a start in the game today. I, I've been saying all season we've been waiting for Furious to uh, to find his stride. He's always been capable of more than uh, than he's accomplished. Uh, but in the last two games, he's he's really stepped it up a notch, and uh, and I'm quite pleased. Uh, here's Papal. Well, we're, we're only one out so far this inning, so everything's still to... Oh, forget I spoke. Da, 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 da. That's out number two. Uh, and uh, and we're now looking at Kojak to, to accomplish something. All right. Okay. Well, we can wait. No, no, Kojak's, you know, she's good to go. And that one's trickled out into centre field. And Kojak will get on base. Finally. Uh, good. Good. Here's failure. 481 he bats 481 that's remarkable I mean it'd be more remarkable if he uh, if he knocked in a few more runs but I, I, you know 481 if he gets on base and other people knock in the runs that's all good too I mean I, I am perhaps forgetting the fact that we've got a 45 run difference in our uh, in our season but uh, but quite a lot of that comes from the early days where it was far too easy uh, it has since become less easy, and the games have become that much more thrilling. Uh, it is Grin Radical, who's the pitcher, who, as far as hitting is concerned, is diabolical. So, really, we can just throw a whole bunch of easy stuff down the middle, and he should be fine. In fact, let's let's try and spook him on a change-up. I mean, if it, if that were to be in the, in the strike zone somewhere, we'd be all right. There we go. He's, he's struck out, look. And I appear to have adopted an accent that is mysterious. Uh, right, okay, back round at the top. It's Kason Reeves, whose uh, 700 batting average that he had before is, has dropped to 625. So my supposition that he had, hadn't actually played that much appears to be bang on the money. Uh, hardware there, dropping a dropping an easy catch. I mean, it's coming straight to you, son. I mean, it shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be that big an issue for you to just. Gather it up in your glove and, and make things happen. Uh, Furious with the throw to uh, to Kojak there, and that's that's out number number two. Here comes Bam Bam. All right, to be I mean I've said that her, st her stats aren't up to all that, uh, but actually uh, she's uh, she's batting a respectable 337 uh, on a team where they're they're quite happily fielding people with uh, a batting average of 200 or less. So. Uh, you know, maybe she is one of the stars. She's out anyway. That 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 all finished mid narrative. Cindy not makes a pitcher and she's off to the races. Uh, well, she's off to first base. I mean, p potentially that's where the races live. Uh, here's Hardware. He's rubbish. Uh, but uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, I don't understand the power hitting thing. We'll just leave that the heck alone, shall we? Uh, yeah. Probably advisable. He's going to get both himself and his teammate out. And that's why we hate him. Here comes Brenda. Two outs now. And uh, we're looking for something here. Okay, you know, a hit, perhaps. That's nice. Uh, going for the same spot that Furious chose, but without quite enough steam on it. And therefore, she's out now. Well, there's Barry Science. And he's juiced. Uh, I believe there are rules against such things. But, uh, but he doesn't seem to be too fussed about advertising it to all and sundry. And he gets another hit. He had a hit last time he was here. He had a hit this time as well. Clearly he's in a hitting kind of a place. Here's Hogwash. Uh, another one of the better players on, the, uh, on the, the, the batting staff. Brenda's got that. You know, sometimes you can speak too soon. This, one of those times. If, if uh, Brenda had had that, we'd have got a double play off that, you know. Well, it's Quash Gardner, and all of a sudden, this inning is spiralling out of control because uh, we've we've gone from uh, gone from a two-run lead, where all of a sudden they've now got runners on first and second, and uh, no outs. So uh, Brenda throws to second. No, I said second. Ah, oh, I mean, if I was going to get just one out there, I would have thrown a third. Um, I, I think I accidentally hit two buttons at once there. 
Uh, so that's the problem with having the, the slightly larger hands uh, than is prescribed by the uh, the controller hand suggestion documentation. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna go for this, and they'll get away with it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. Well, that's them off off the scoring zero line uh, as the uh, the fun bus gets their first run of the afternoon. And well, you know, well, nothing doing on that one. No, because that was a really bad pitch. That one, less bad. We'll take the easy out. And, uh, and job done. Okay, well, that could have been a whole lot worse. Uh, the fun bus there, putting up a nice run of uh, a run of hits. Um, but uh, we managed to hold them to just one. Uh, is Viv. Just like swing in there at thin air. Good job. And this one. Well, she's had a go. For, she's going to be out. I mean, it, it was inevitable she was going to get out there. But you, you've got to give them a chance. Uh, you like your pitchers to have a go once in a while. Is uh, is Zoltan. Uh, 0 for 2 today. He's uh, he's in a bit of a slump at the moment. Um, but, uh, you know, he is our uh, our sacrificial lamb for uh, for top of the order. Uh, I don't know why it is. You can put anybody at the top of the order and they play equally badly. Now, it has been suggested that maybe I should put the pitcher at the top of the order. But that's just crazy talk. Um, I mean, that said, he is soaking up the pitches, uh, which obviously, you know, it wears down. Uh, the pitcher a little bit yeah yeah, yeah. you know you've got to you've got to see the the positive in these things uh he's furious he's had a double and a home run today you knew that already i'm telling you again because you know it's furious who so often has been referred to as the disappointing furious sponge bath um but not right now no he's uh, he's quite an excitable furious sponge bath he's not going to get far on that one though no he almost did he had a nice turn of speed but uh, but no he, he when you, when you stick it in the infield, you should expect to be out. Unceremoniously. Uh, here's the catcher. It's Cherry Margarita for the uh, for the fun bus. And uh, she's she's poised. She's looking keen. That's ball one. Nah, it wasn't. <laughs> yeah, it was. Yeah, I, I think the umpire was, was possibly on the money with that particular call. Uh, you might argue otherwise. That's ball two. Yeah, some of these not going exactly where we want them. Like that one, for example. That wasn't anywhere near where we wanted it. Go on. And Cherry's tattooed that. Uh, Zoltan's in the region. And has it at the fence. Uh, Cherry Bugger is denied there uh, the, the glory and, uh, and potential uh, bonus check uh, for, for, a good, uh, for a good hit. She didn't get it. So uh, I've denied her the ability to fear her children. Which is charming of me. Someone get underneath that. Thank you, Julius Hardware. All right, okay, two outs now. Here's Carson Kaysen, Reeves and Reeves and Reeves, who's, uh, who's opening, uh, uh, pitching, batting, and bit. Oh, hold on, wait. Say the right word. Batting, thank you. Average, yes. We almost uh, spoonerized ourselves, and not for the first time. Um, has dropped from 700 to 550. Yeah, you're not feeling so clever now, are you, Kaysen? No, I'm going to end your career, son. Yeah. No, you're, you're not feeling so flipping pleased with yourself now, are you? Anyway, he's out. Side's out. And uh, we're into the sixth inning. Uh, very close game. Two runs to one. Uh, here's Paypal Event Horizon, who's, uh, who's going to be uh, trying to knock the ball over the horizon. I mean, you don't get a much better pitch than that there, Paypal. No, no that one was, was not ideal. Come on, let's uh, let's do the right thing. Okay, strike two, no ball so far. Papal just kind of generally uh, knocking it around the place, but failing to come up with anything useful. Uh, his Kojak got on base last time, and uh, well, she's gonna she's gonna need to do the same thing. No, 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 no. Yes, right. What? Yeah. That was not a strike there, son. That was that was outside if ever I saw it. Uh, ball two, strike net. Strike two. Kojak there, bunging that one up in the top deck. Uh, good good effort. Uh, it looked like a paddle wheel. In oh, no, no, she struck out. Oh, no, I hate it when that happens. And uh, Kojak strikes out. His failure. He's over two today as well, and we've got two outs. Uh, so, uh, 
we're in the, the last gasp section of this inning. Oh, hey, you know what? Failure actually uh, got that done and got to first. Go failure. Yeah, but he does move like Grease Ruddy Lightning. That's true. For a big lad, failure has got some speed. Uh, here's Cindy. You don't know what to expect with Cindy Vapid. Never, never entirely sure. That's good, though. And uh, Anas, uh, that's runners now first and second. This, this feels like one of those innings where we're going to throw away a golden opportunity to extend the scoreline, as here comes Julius Hardware. Um, and we hate him. Um, okay, all right. So why is he still on the team? Why not trade him? Because I'm not trading players. I did, I, as much as this is franchise mode. Oh, come on, son. That was a flipping easy, ruddy home run, that one. That's, that's him done. Um... What? Uh, yeah, 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 franchise mode, yes. Allows you to do all kinds of trading and that kind of behaviour, but we're not doing any of that. I wanted to do a regular season while turning on some franchise mode activity. Huh. So why don't you play a regular season? Because I wanted to turn on some franchise mode activity and see what that was all about. Yeah, we've not really explored that very much in this series, though, have we? Uh, no, we haven't. It's true. Brenda's got it. Good work, Brenda. Um... No, we haven't. Maybe we should poke about it a bit. Maybe. I think we poked about it enough in the early stuff. We're not going to use any of it. And, uh, and you, you become a little bit disconsolate with, uh, with other teams in the league actually making use of the ability to sign new players and what have you. So, you know, maybe we should just leave that alone, pretend it doesn't exist, get through the playoffs, and then declare victory. All right, okay, yeah. All right, here we go. All right. Okay. Well, what's what's going on? Uh, one out. Bottom of the sixth. Ethan Hogwash up to bat. Okay. Runner on first. That was, that's another salient point. Zoltan. Oh, flat tempo. Zoltan goes. Oh, I could have that, and then doesn't. No, they've now got runners at second and third. This is very dangerous. Only one out. But here's Quash Gardner again, who has uh, who has helped to foil them on subsequent occasions. But I'll be honest with you, it feels like he might be about due a hit. And this would be a good time for him to do so, because he'll get some scoring points bonus type deal out of it. No, he swung at a load of old Tosh there. I don't know what we're throwing. Because you fumbled the ball, he's allowed to run. <coughs> gotcha. Right. Oh dear. Yeah. Well, here's Tipsy Jack. Uh, bases are loaded. This has disaster. Written all over it in large neon letters uh, with a soundtrack by Vangelis. Um, and uh, and this, is, this is where Vivian Crumble's really going to earn her pay. We need to catch. We need to flip in paper. Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Oh, for crying out loud, would one of you go for the ball? Well, that's a disaster. That, that, that's, that's a, that was a, a total gimme as far as an out was concerned, and we blew it. Um, yeah, because, I don't know, it, it decided to give me control over someone that I didn't want. Uh, so I made me effort to get in there, uh, whereas the infielder could have had that quite easily. I mean, maybe the infielder is supposed to stay put uh, where you've got loaded bases, so that you've got base protection and so on. But that's what the... That's what the, the, the uh, what's his name does. That's number two. That's number three. Ah, didn't quite get number three. And the fun bus are in the lead. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Dig deep, team. We let them load up the bases. And uh, and now they're, they're, oh my goodness, the pitches are all over the place. Wait for it. All right. Okay. You know what? I think Steve Steve Morey is more than just a catcher. I think he's a talisman. I think he is uh, he is an emblem of uh, of all that is right and uh, and right. Oh no, we've got to walk. Ah no, no. All right, Viv's pitching has gone to pot, but here is the pit. Now they're taking him out. A brilliant Hannibal Panache, who's uh, who's going to try and make a difference here while they're in a massive scoring opportunity. They're going to get two runs off this. Uh, maybe even more than that. Rounds third. Yep, they're going to... Oh, Furious drops the ball. And all of a sudden, a close game has been blown wide open by uh, by the Sunshine Fun Bus. Uh, Vivian's confidence is knackered. I was searching around for a word that was more suitable. Couldn't find one. 
So, uh, so I've gone with a slight use of the vernacular there. And uh, yeah, Viv's, Viv's all busted. I'm hoping she can retire the team here because uh, we've got a steal going on. Yeah, and of course they get that. Yeah. Strike two, Viv. Put them away. Put them away, Viv. Just put in a curveball because they have the greatest tolerance to wonky pitching. That one's, that one's good, though. Zoltan finally gets a long one. Well, it's disgusting. Eric PowerPoint is coming in to, uh, to, do the, uh, to do the pitching. And at the top of the seventh, all of a sudden, Bordeaux's power trail by four. Uh, Brenda Ferrai up to bat. Uh, she hasn't done anything for us yet so far today. But she's had a go at that. And big court. Yeah. All right. Here's Viv. Viv, sit down. You're done for the day. Uh, thanks for playing. Right, we'll bring in Big Rod. Uh, or Veronica played last time. Big Rod is uh, hes a heck of a player when he makes the right contact with the pitch. When he doesn't make the right contact with the pitch, however, he's just a large oaf of a man um, who, uh, who precious, precious few times accomplishes what you want from him. This is one of those times. There you are, he's out. All right, two outs already. And wouldn't you know it, it's uh, it's Zoltan. I can't see the ball because of my face makeup uh, and these uh, reflective sunglasses. Yeah, uh, Bam Bam Bam's put a stop to any hijinks he might have had in mind, and that's the side retired. And uh, well, we played the conservative last time. Who do you want? Oh, let's bring in Tulip. All right, Tulip's out, uh, and. Uh, She's facing off against former teammate Bam Bam Puckeye. Yeah, so she knows all of Bam Bam's weaknesses. Which is, you know, poodles, long walks on the beach, and uh, the musical stylings of Enya. Uh, right, okay, there you go. Zoltan gets the ball back to Brenda, but that's, uh, that's one runner on base already, which is not what we want to see is. Uh, Barry Science, who's three for three so far today. I say so far. Three for three is a pretty good day. Uh, you'd, you'd be pleased with that. Oh, flipping Kojak misses a sitter, and uh, that's another runner on base. It looks like this is a this is a bulldozer power collapse uh, because it's we're being led towards uh, everything going wrong, and that's been put in as awkward an infield place as it's possible to get. And uh, well, is it outfield? But I, I mean, it's still in inside the. It didn't hit it for a home run. Here's Quash Gardner who's going to hit this one over the fence. I can feel it in my water. All right, okay. Well, you know, let's let's not give up. All right, let's strike two. Yeah, stick in another one of those. Julius, Julius. No, it's off the fence, mate. All right, okay. Come on, put it away. Put him away. Put him out of there. Get him out of our misery. All right, it's not out of our misery. It's uh, gone to centre field. Zoltan says he's got it, and has. They're going to get a, they're going to get a run off this regardless, as Zoltan decides to throw the entire length of the field. It got there, but it wasn't uh, wasn't attractive. He was never going to catch him out. Is that? I mean, that was a foregone conclusion. Uh, we're now facing Tipsy Jock Jack, whatever his name is. He's Tipsy, and that's an out. And they're going to get a run off that as well. Yep. Well, uh, Baldo's power being uh, comprehensively taken apart here in this, the final game of the regular season. They're going to need to dig deep uh, to, to come up with some kind of form uh, in the postseason. Otherwise, they will not last very long. Uh, seven innings down and uh, a BDP trail 9-7. to seven. Well, it's furious. <laughs> I would say if anyone could do it, he could. But to be honest, I, I'm not convinced of that. That one was a little high, but Furious has certainly had a go for it. Yeah, put it in, a, in the second deck. Furious' is second home runner today is going like, well, if no one else is playing, I'll, I'll try and do it all myself. But frankly, I don't get enough turns. And uh, that's, a, that's a bright way to start the inning. He didn't wait uh, for a safe pitch. He just went for the first one. Paper went for the first one as well. That didn't go so well. No, no, it didn't. Right, okay, Papal now. He's, he's, he's going to use his wits, both of them. That's more like it. <clears throat> Up to centre field, Papal will get to first base. 
Uh, this is a stellar picture that we're facing here as well. So, uh, uh, so we should take nothing away from anything that we might possibly take away. Uh, we've got uh, Kojak is uh, is now facing the pitch in. Uh, Papal's on base. Now Papal's got some speed. We could try stealing, but at, uh, I'll be honest with you, I'm not wholly certain what the button is. Uh, the only button I do know for absolute sure is uh, is the everybody run to the next base button. So we won't do that. There you go. Papal's going to get everybody out. No, I'd say that. I did, that was Kojak. The once favourite among fans, new signing Kojak Mr. On, has, uh, has not uh, done anything to earn the devotion and loyalty of the uh, of the BDP massive of late. And, uh, well, it's failure getting himself out. He does that sometimes, but he's, he can be quite reliable. Can he? Do you think he might do that today? Based on how we're playing so far? No. All right, Cherry Margarita up for a spin round the block, and uh, she's facing off against Tulip Banter, uh, who's managed to land a couple of strikes in a row. That's uh, in itself is unusual. That one's gone skyward. Hardware allegedly has it. Does. Okay. Here's a picture. It's Eric PowerPoint, uh, who is terrible at uh, hitting the ball. Uh, but it doesn't really matter because they've got a six-run lead. We haven't had a six-run inning in as long as I can remember. Furious there went for the jumping catch. He's, he might be a terrible hitter, but he got he, he got on base. Yeah, it's that kind of game. All right, here's uh, is Kason Reeves, who's uh, once mighty 700 batting average is now down to 450. But honestly. I, I think I may be able to attribute all of our problems in uh, uh, defensively today with the fact that I've been dissing him the entire time. And, uh, and that now he's had enough of it and he's going to knock this one for six. Well, he has if, if six is up. Uh, that, one's gone, that one's gone over, over the fence there into the, uh, into the twilight zone. All right, okay. That was a poor pitch. He's, uh, he stuck that one skyward as well. Julie, you got it? That's foul. No, that one's off the fence and all. All right. Well, keep sticking in the fastballs, Tulip. There you go. That one's got a send. That's one out. That's two outs. A lot of throwing them around there. And uh, and we got... No, no, you're out, mate. He, he ran back to first, didn't he? Oh, dear. That should have been out. I'd already tagged first. Yes. Not entirely sure why that works. Maybe you have to tag for every... Yeah, you've got to tag every player who's trying to get to a base. It's not rounders uh, where... Oh, Cindy Vapid, good effort. You know what? I don't mind that she didn't get it. That was almost great. I'd have made quite a lot of noise if that had gone well. Here's Baz Science. Uh, he's three or four from his, uh, from his attempt so far today. And that one has got... Yeah, that one's got a ticket. Yeah, it's, it's out there. Uh, he's got his luggage, put it on the train. Uh, he's taken up his seat in second class. Uh, got uh, got by the window. He's really hoping that nobody else is going to come and sit next to him. Uh, so he's got his bag on the seat for the time being. Uh, but he's packed it, booked it, and gone. All right, here's Trip Hogwash, who actually has uh, had a, an amazing kind of game today. He's had the kind of game that I would go, oh, that's your... That's your top star of your many stars there. Although Baz Science uh, banging in a sins. No, never mind. Well, the problems continue. And show no signs of letting up. It's the eighth inning. It's over. They just got an infield triple there. Um, yeah. Well, it would have to be infield. Because if it went out of the field. Shut up. Uh, it, it wouldn't be a... Really, you're carrying on with this? Yeah, yeah, it would be a home run. Yeah, doesn't seem to matter what we do. No, <laughs> now we just try to style these catches at every opportunity. You can stop watching now. No, 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 unless you want to see who's going to make the playoffs. So we for skip forward a bit, because uh, I'll keep playing this until we've until we've somehow managed to. I mean, I've only got to get one person out, and then it's just a matter of waiting until my team. I, that's gone over the fence, hasn't it? Holy cow. Yeah. No, you're, you're, you're entirely off your mojo. Yeah. 
yeah, everything's wrong. It's all wrong. Nothing is going well. Uh, we are, we're ruining Tulip Banter. She may never play again. Uh, this is, this is the end of Tulip Banter's career. Brenda, have you got it? Yeah, well done. Uh, yeah, she's been absolutely destroyed from inning six onwards. Completely taken apart uh, by a team showing absolutely no mercy. Anyway, here's the ninth inning. It will last as long as, uh, as I manage to stay in. All right. And then the game will be over. There you go. Cindy's got us off to a good start. Yeah. I've never come back from 12 runs down. No. I think I've only been 12 runs down like half a dozen times, but never come back from it. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, well done. Yeah, that's all good. All right. Got a hit. That was hardware. We hate him. Yeah, we do. It's Brenda Ferrite. Okay. Come on, then. Get on with it. No, nah, I don't want it. Go on, do another one. Do what I do want. Nah, not that one. Nah, that's no good. Nah, nah, nah. Put, put one near where me circle is. Can you see me circle? That's where I want it. There you go. That one was quite close to the circle. Brenda there getting on base. Don't start believing. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Tulip, sit down. Uh, right, who should we bring in? Oh, Lynn Mephisto doesn't get a play very often. She might as well have a go. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're being egalitarian. That's uh, Lynn Mephisto with the two outs required to end the game. Good job, Lynn. Putting it all away for us. And gosh. Yeah, there, there's numbers. Furious Sponge Bath had a heck of a game. Two home runs for Furious. Uh, three of four from his at bats, and he had a double from his from his third hit. That's uh, that's very very nice indeed. He, he might even get star player of the day. Now he came in at number two. Well, all right, I'll allow it, I suppose. Yeah, two home runs though. Yeah, I know two home runs is quite good. No, two home runs is very good. But it, he was the only one that was any any ruddy use at all. Uh, so that, is that it? I, I don't know. Hold on, have a look at the standings. Has everybody played 20? No, Gov, just you. Really? Nomads have played 20. Yeah, they're out. Okay. Uh, Failure Ground have played 20. They're out as well. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, in that case, we've got some uh, we've got some games to simulate here. Okay. Uh, first up is the Colonel School versus Ball Grazer Ridge. Colonel School coming away with the win. And where does that leave them? 12 and 8. They're in. Hooray. For them, obviously. Yeah, I, I celebrate for... For other teams as much as I celebrate for myself. Uh, it's the Steganauts versus the Pirates. Big game for the Steganauts. Uh, they have qualified already, but could be knocked out. Oh, and all of a sudden we're on the we're on the edge. We're on the fence. No, the Steganauts aren't gonna make it. Ten and ten. Well, what are they? Minus twelve. The fun bus could finish lower than them. Beekeepers potentially could finish lower than them. It's it's important. Um uh, Peninsula Transport Failurewood Hills, neither team able to make the postseason. Of course, I'm assuming it's the top four from both divisions makes the postseason. I might be, uh, I might be completely wrong. Here is the fun bus. They need a win here against the Minstrels, who have got nothing to play for, and they get it, and they're through. Sunshine Fun Bus will be uh, making the final countdown. Diddle ed. Uh, here's the beekeepers against the medics. The beekeepers could also do with a victory here. Uh, the medics, the stronger team this season, looking pretty strong. They've done all. They've done all right. The uh, what are we looking at? Well, you got a three-way tie for third there. Oh yeah, yeah. Hold on. Is there anyone left to play? Uh, just some bombastic stuff. But in the smooth division, uh, you've got the bumps and medics out front. Then me and uh, and the sunshine fun bus on eleven and nine. Uh, and then you got a three-way tie. Yeah. Beekeepers and Steganauts tied, tied. Yeah, but if it's only four teams that go through, yeah, then the pirates have done it. Okay, moving on. Faywood Hills, Stardozer Human Resources. I don't know if either of them can... Make oh, they are. They're playing for the last spot. Faywood Hills there, clawing their way to the final spot. Cheerio Inc. versus Colonel Space Agency. Well, it doesn't make any difference what happens in this one. Put the kids in. Let them have a play. Uh, see how they get on. Colonel Space Agency, though, decided to win it anyway. So that's the end of the, uh, of the regular season. If I press start the playoffs... It's not going to make me play a game, is it? <clears throat> Are you sure you would like to start the playoffs? I, yeah, I think I probably am. Uh, you'll be unable to sign and release players until the off-season. Oh, 
and unable to purchase player development opportunities until the next offseason. All right, look, let's have a look at player development opportunities. Here we go. What have I got in the bag? I've got 300 grand in the, in the bag. Uh, yeah. Which means I could buy an Emery board. Yes. Uh, for Quebec Spire. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. You know what? I'm doing it. There you go, Quebec. Have a... Uh, he's got a 5% chance to gain dud. All right. Okay. His velocity loses two points. Uh, but he's got oh, he's got chances to do all kinds of stuff. All right. Let's have a look. Okay. He's got a bit more junk throwing. And... Now his accuracy has improved. And... Yeah, of course he's... he's oh, he's, he, that's avoided. I thought he'd, he'd earned it there. Hey, that was... That was exciting. Good. Well, that was all of my development cash all gone there in, in one hit. Good show. Good. Right. Start the playoffs. Yeah. I made it to the playoffs. Yeah, I made it to the playoffs two games ago. Uh, but there you go. Right. Okay, we've got... Uh, we've got to face Colonel School in the first game. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah face, face Colonel School. Uh, the Pirates are playing uh, KSA. Uh, the Hills are facing the Medics. Yeah. And then the Sunshine Von Bus are playing Cheerio Inc. Join me, won't you, for that? It's sure to be a fascinating first game of the playoff series. Whew. I'm the fifth seed. Oh, that's, that's exciting. Yeah. Good. Cheerio. Now, you see, I had a cunning wheeze, right? And I've, and I've paid the price. The cunning wheeze was record this game immediately after the previous one. To obviously release the videos at the same pace as normal because uh, then I'll have warmed up and uh, and we'll be able to turn on quite the performance yeah it didn't work did it no no we got absolutely thumped uh we were just we just played badly there was there was no other no other way about it. a couple of errors that maybe we could have avoided but ultimately we just played badly I mean badly we that badly is how we played very very badly anyway we've made it through to the playoffs and we've we've been seeded fifth uh so you know that mid table everything to lose everything to prove and uh, and that campaign starts next weekend i'm i'm itching to see what happens and hopefully we don't go out in the first round <laughs>